So now let's talk about if you don't know who you are, I want you to start setting goals. We are going to do, and this is where I'll stop. I can't give you my whole training. So I'm going to tell you guys what we call SMARTS. S-M-A-R-O-T. Write it down, my units. S-M-A-R-O-T. SMARTS. S-M-A. Somebody write it in the comment section. I can, did you write it in the comment section for me? S M A R U T, all in capital letter. Akin, did you write it for me? Live from Atlanta, from Georgia. Atlanta Beautiful. Georgia. Beautiful. Wonderfully, Wonderfully made by God. God. Welcome to Welcome the big show. S M A R U T smart because that's the how we are going to achieve if we don't know who we are that is how we are going to know and get to understand who we are okay good job thank you peace thank you peace kind hearted person compassionate lenient forgiving spirit good forgiving spirit is a very good one because most of us don't forgive so if you have that you have a heart of gold because forgiving is not thank you uh thank you uh thank you all of it now we are going to break it down if you don't know who you are or you're a little bit confused or you just know two or three things about you now we are going to tell you how you can set goals of achieving who you are of knowing who you are the first one there says s and it stands for specific you must be specific you must be specific to find out, even if it is the smallest thing. When I have my clients, in, in when I'm doing my coaching, my some of, some of my clients will tell me, I don't even know, there is nothing There is nothing good. There is nothing good I can say about myself. I say, really? Do you like your glasses? Yeah, I say, put it down there. Do you like the way your nose is shaped? Yes, put it down there. You see, you have to be specific. Because when I say, tell me something unique about yourself, some of you were like, okay, okay, and let me say the big ones. I'm kind, I am this, I'm that. But do you know other things that make you unique might be the way you look, might be the color of your skin, might be the way your teeth is, might be the way your ears are, might be your fashion sense, might be the way you do your hair. Be specific. And when you're setting goals for yourself, you set goals that are specific. I want to, you can't just say, hey, I want to be the president of America. Who, who does you? You want to be the president of America. You have not even started with uh, your council, your council chairman. You can't even do that. You set goals like, I want to be the president, but not now. I just want to be the counselor. Let me use Nigeria, for example. I want to be the local government chairman. When you do that for four years, you now say, I want to go to House of Representatives. Then the next goal is, I want to be a senator. Then after being a senator, I want to run for the president of Nigeria. Set goals that are specific. If you set goals that are not specific, you will never achieve them. If you set goals that are too bogus, you will never, like those of us that say, I want to lose weight. I just want to lose 60 pounds. Ah, she, you're not losing one pound. <laughs> But you start with, I just want to lose two pounds this week. Just two. At the end of this week, you lose two pounds. You celebrate it. Then next week, I want to lose three pounds. You celebrate it. Maybe you didn't do well. You lost only two. That's okay. The other week, I will do three. You start small. You don't just give yourself big goals that you cannot achieve. You know what you end up doing? You discourage yourself. And then you begin to feel that you are a failure then you are no longer unique. Then you are no longer special. Then you begin to feel I'm a failure. I can never amount to anything. I want to start selling. I want to open a provision store. Ne, well, how are you going to open it? I just want a big store. And it's going to be a kudo, unique supermarket. It's going to start, at least I need about 10 million. My sister, I don't even have $2,000 dollar in my account. You see, now you begin to be depressed. Now, this is how they rob you of your uniqueness. They take it away from you and your special being because you are now beginning to feel, oh, I said my new year resolution is to start an Akudo unique supermarket. 
Her this year has ended again. I have failed again. I could do it. It's stupid. It is stupid. It is stupid. You can never achieve anything. It is too big. But you can start with, you know, this year, I'm going to start a business. And that business I'm going to start is that I know how to do puff puff. I will do puff puff and take to all the elementary schools around us and ask them, can I sell puff puff in their school? And then I'll be taken to supermarkets to give them my puff puff to sell. Then when I get a little bit of money, I'm going to do a label and call it Unique Akudo Puff Puff. Put a label, package it in a nice and start sending to supermarkets. That's your next goal. As you're sending it, yourself, then you start, you know what? Since they like my puff puff, let me add chin chin and fish pie. Oh my God, you know what? Instead of me doing this thing, let me find a small shop where I'll be selling it. And then you see, when you put goals step by step, make little objectives, those objectives will take you to your big goal. But when you start off with a big goal, then you don't work on it. Then you fail. Then you feel like, Jesus Christ, I cannot amount to anything. That doesn't bring out your uniqueness. That makes and that bonds who you are. Okay? Let's go to the second one. M, it must be measurable. Whenever you set those goals that make you unique, you must measure them. Measurable in the sense that they're... You should know, like, for example, like the first example I gave you, I want to lose weight. I want, I just want to lose weight. I just want to lose weight. I just want to lose weight. I am size 20 now, but I want to just be wearing size 4. What kind of losing weight? It's not going to happen. Because from size 20 to size 4 is 16 different sizes in between. But if you can make it measurable, I want to lose 2 pounds this month. I am only losing 5 pounds this month. Next month, I will lose 10 pounds. The next month, I will go to 20 pounds. It is measurable. You can measure it. You can measure it. It is something that is feasible, something you can see. The A stands for it must be attainable. That means it must be real that it can be achieved. Don't go set unrealistic goals for yourself and then begin to say, I am nobody, I am no good, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I am so negative, nothing works for me, people don't like me. <laughs> because you're setting goals that are unattainable, that are not attainable, unattainable. You can't attain it. It's just like me now saying, you know what, um, by the year 2023, I'm going to be the president of America. See me now, see, 2023 is next year. Who knows me to make me president of America? And then we'll say, oh, by faith, by faith. Don't confuse faith with denial. Because that's the mistake we Christians make. We go say, oh, by faith, I'm going to do this. Then by next year, I'm not the president. Then what happens? Are you making God a liar? Are you saying God said something and it didn't come to pass? Remember the Bible says in Jeremiah, a prophet is known when what he says comes to pass. They can give you 50 prophecies and none of them come to pass. They are not prophets. The Bible says when they speak it, it must come to pass. And the Bible, God says that the word of God that has gone forth can never come back to God void without accomplishing that which it has been sent out for. So if the word of God has been sent to you and it cannot accomplish what it has been sent out for, it is not from my God, it is not from my Father. God doesn't fail. He doesn't say things and he doesn't do it. So when you are trying to find out who you are, set attainable goals for yourself. You cannot say right now you don't have a job, but you're telling yourself that hey, next year you're going to be the director general of uh, Transco, Trans, is it Transco Hotel in Abuja. My sister, you don't even work there. Unless you are related to the owner and maybe there's a way you're going to get it. And then you say you're claiming it by faith. There is no faith there. You're not getting it. There's no faith there. You're not getting it. But maybe if you work there, maybe you have risen as a manager, maybe you are a distinguished person there. They have singled you out because there's something special about you. You are so unique. You're shining. The owner might say, you know what? Tomorrow, Akudo has been promoted to be the manager because they have seen what you're doing. They have seen your uniqueness. They have seen what makes you different. They have seen what has distinguished you from the crowd. And now they give it to you. A, are you attainable? Are your goals attainable, my units? 
Because some of the times we are the ones that make ourselves feel like we are not unique. Because we have set out goals out there that we are not achieving. So we are not feeling like we are failures. Set attainable goals to who you want to be and what you want to do. That is the only way you begin to acknowledge your uniqueness. They are, say, relevant. It must be relevant. Not irrelevant things. Don't make irrelevant goals. Don't find things that make no sense. Oh, I, I'm going to, I want to be like Bob Risky. I want to have money like Bob Risky. Is that relevant? Is that what you want? Or do you want to own a business? Or do you want to go back to school? Or do you want promotion at your work? It must be specific. It must be measurable. It must be attainable. And it must be relevant. Some people, their goal is to be baby girl. I want to be a baby girl, baby girl lifestyle. Is that a goal? Is it relevant? Some of us, their goal is I want to be a sugar boy. I want to have a sugar mommy. There are some people that come in my DM, mommy, hey, I like you. Can I be your sugar boy? Can you be my sugar mommy? Look at, is this your goal, young man? Your goal in life is to go to a married woman to be her sugar boy or sugar whatever you people call yourself, side dude. Is that the only goal you have in life? Is it relevant? Other boys are there looking for ways to make money. And your only way to reach is, is to go date a married woman that you think is rich. Or a married man that you think is rich. Are your goals relevant? And then the last one, T, is, is it time conscious? Give yourself time. Don't say, um, I'm going to lose weight. <laughs> I'm going to lose weight this year. This year is 12, 12 months. <laughs> it's 12 months. You might not, before you know it, we're in April. Before you know it, May is here. And you have not attained any of it. But you can say, you know what? I'm going to lose five pounds by the end of April. It is specific. It is measurable. It is specific losing weight. It is measurable. It's five pounds I'm losing. Attainable, I can attain it if I go to the gym and watch what I eat. I can actually attain it. R, is it relevant? Yes, I need to be healthy so that I don't get sick. And then T, is it time conscious? Yes, I said by the end of April. Guys, are you understanding what I'm saying? I hope I'm, I'm, you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Let me see. Hi, Masha, my brother, you just came in now. How are you doing? You know? Oh, you are humble and have principles. Good job. Good job, sir. <laughs> You are humble and you have people being special and you need to be determined and not to be compromised. That's right, my brother. Okay? So when, that's why that is a good example I just gave you guys, using smarts. And I want you to write this down somewhere. Whatever goal you set for yourself as a unique individual, I want you to use these five things. Make sure that goal is specific. Make sure that goal is measurable make sure that goal is attainable is something you can attain you can reach you can achieve make sure it is relevant to you and make sure it is time conscious make sure you have a time limit some of us will say hey this year i must hammer is that a goal i must hammer this hammer with what with uh, are you a carpenter hammer with what <laughs> what are you going to hammer with you have no job you have no business. There is nowhere you go to make money. But this year, ah, you must hammer. You must hammer. This year, that my year, I must hammer. What are you hammering, my brother, my sister? What are you hammering? As you're coming in, please like the video. What are you hammering? So I want to explain to you guys, you are a unique being. Do you know what unique stands? You guys all see unique. You see, you see unique behind me. Do you know what it stands for? Understanding. N is for natural. I is for individual. Q is for qualities. U is for their uniqueness. And E is for our empowerment. That's what my group stands for. Understanding, natural, individual, qualities, uniqueness, and your empowerment. My sister, are you unique? My brother, are you a unique being? I hope I have helped you understand who you are. When you go out there and set goals that are too big for you, then you don't achieve it. You begin to dump on yourself. I am so useless. 
I can never do anything. And then maybe you have naysayers around you telling you you can never amount to anything. Akwagi, you will suffer. You must suffer. You, <laughs> you must suffer. And then you look around, everybody is telling you you suffer. You look in your family that should love you, they are telling you you're good for nothing, you will not amount to anything. You are the black sheep of the family. Then you come outside, the world is looking at you like your family don't believe in you. Why do you think we should believe in you? And then you now, as an individual, say, I'm going to show them. I will show them that I'm special. But you go set goals that are too big, that are big out there, but you don't have little objectives that will take you to your goals. Now, when you fail, and there is because you will fail, we all fail. Failing is a natural thing in life. We start thing, we fail, we learn, we move on. That's what life is. Ups and down, it must surely come. There's no two ways about it. So when you fail, then you now begin to beat up on yourself like, child, you see what these people said might be true. Remember, if the, the enemy within is fighting with the enemy outside. And when the enemies outside agree with the enemies within, my sister, my brother, finito, you are gone. Because you, you wouldn't want to do anything. I don't know whether you have had that feeling where you don't even want to get up and go to work. You don't even want to get up and start a business. You don't even want to get up and do nothing because life has dumped on you. Family has dumped on you. Friends have dumped on you. You have started believing it, the power of brainwashing. You have started believing that maybe for real you're stupid. Maybe for real you can't amount to anything. Maybe for real you don't know what you're doing. So you begin to believe it and then you begin to forget that you are a unique being. You begin, to, you begin to forget that you are a special being. You begin to forget that there is nobody on this earth like you. You begin to forget that the definition says you are the only one. The word uni means one, no other person like you. You begin to forget that you are unmatchable, nothing can match you. You begin to forget you are uncomparable, nothing can be compared to you. You begin to forget you are unparalleled. It doesn't touch anywhere. You are on your lane going to where you're going. I'm on my lane going. Nothing should be compared. You begin to forget that you are unequaled. You begin to forget that you're special, distinguished, separated because of the qualities they have seen in you. You begin to dump on yourself. My uniques, I just wanted to share that with you. This is, like I told you at the beginning, I teach this program. I call, this, I call it, I am unique, I am enough. It's eight weeks coaching program. But I, I do it for my clients, but I just decided, you know what, I was going to come and share it with you guys. Just this is the introduction. We have a whole thing we do. I, you know, some activities we do, some words of affirmation we do. And I want to teach you guys something before I leave. Words of affirmation 